Episode 1, Faith. That's right, everyone. We're back in The Wolf Among Us. Thanks for joining me here. I won't be doing too much talking because I expect we'll be getting a lot of dialogue here in a second, but I'll, I'll fill this time till we get that. We are at the Woodland Luxury Apartments in Fabletown, and it is late with an ellipses. All right, well, let's see what we got to do here with the wolf. If you haven't checked out the first episode, go back and check that out. Uh, I'm guessing this door will be locked or this gate will be locked, but we'll try it. Let's see what happens here. Oh, no, it's it's unlocked. We're going to walk right in. Very nice. Uh, right past the buzzer box. Very... Uh, Ominous closing of the gate. Stay off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Uh, snow. Are we coming to see Snow White? I mean, that's the only other person I can think of uh, that would have that name. Saw someone there. Don't make me come over there. Stay off the grass. There's no walking on the grass. No White's orders. She made a sign and everything. The little red riding hood? I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hmm. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. We're going, I know this um looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Ain't that the truth? No. I'm late. Late for what? Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Hmm. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. We'll just take care of you. Please. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Mmm. Heard that phrase before. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Big B. So if you remember in the first episode, which now that you've had a few seconds to click off, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, we bumped into the woodsman and had ourselves a little bit of a tumble, and that's why we have all those scratches and cuts on our face. And now we are here, I'm assuming, to report it or, you know, let them know what's what's been happening. Security guard taking a nap Um I guess let's uh, check our mail. Been a while since I got any mail. Let's, let's for funsies check it. Maybe there'll be something in there. We'll find out what our apartment number is. 205. Day in a row. No one wants to send us mail. That's okay. It's better than getting bills. Uh, let's look at the directory here. Beast, Mr. Mrs., private, bunch of privates. 204. Why was 204 empty? Because I we either went 204 or 205. We might have went 204, so maybe that is us. Let's see. Can we see our name on there? Screw storage, private, private, private. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Oop, there's something. There it is. That's what's our name fell off. All right, well, let's put us up. Um, yeah, we, we deserve to be on the on the board here, even though we're the only one handwritten. Everyone else gonna go on. has their own made tab. Okay, let's head back over here. Um, suit of armor. We can take a peek at it first, and then we'll grab that morning star flail. Let's... Uh, See if we can wake up the guard by touching it. No, he's fast asleep. Okay, well, that did us no good. Um, take a peek at everything. If not, we'll wake him up here in a second. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Hey, you wink. No, Grimple is out cold. Probably for the best. Elevator's on seven, if you caught that in the background, if that means anything to us. Well, let's check the rest of this here. Anything on the table we can look at? Anything over this way? No. Okay. We'll go ahead and call the elevator. Have that come on down from 7. And then we'll go up and uh, do our thing. I'm trying to see. 7. Storage and private. Nothing, nothing too crazy on there. 
So you're gonna wake up as the door closes? No, someone's coming running down. Who's that? Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Beast? Uh, haven't seen her. Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. What's going on? Please tell me. I'm the sheriff of our community. I should probably know if it's something bad. Don't know. That's just what I would say if I was uh, Big B the Wolf here. All right. 204, our apartment. Very nice. Get some shut-eye here, hopefully. Didn't lock the door. Doesn't want to be bothered. Got it. He needs to get a housekeeper or something. Clean up after him a little. Alright, uh, we can check the fridge. We got a little note. Guess let's see what's in the freezer. Probably nothing. Mm, ice cubes. Hasn't been defrosted in a while. Uh, maybe some takeout in the fridge? Huff and puff. All right, anything else we can grab in the kitchen? No. All right, let's pop out into the uh, living area, whatever this is. We got our desk here with Bluebeard folder. Take a peek at that. Bluebeard's file. Who's Bluebeard? I'm assuming someone we're chasing. Never trusted this guy. Okay, that's good to know. Um, can't go through that door. Let's pop over here. We've got a lot of cigarettes and some Chinese food. That's probably nasty. Probably a bad sign. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't eat that either. Uh, he said he's a little hot. I hear snoring. Let's get that fan going. Should help. Who is snoring? Oh, the, a pig, Colin. Um. I guess let's start by looking. Say. Hey, Colin, get up. All right, we'll give him a little taparuski. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? There's the only way I get out. Come on, I'm tired. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Colin the pig. Was he one of the pigs that was supposed to go to the market? Got a smoke? <laughs> Can we give him one? Pig that smokes. Nice. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. <laughs> this has got to stop. We can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's uh, like. Tell you what okay? I told Toad. I been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. <laughs> that for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain <laughs> you once caused me, yes. Uh, it also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Just want some rest. Um, take a sip of water. Nice. I take it all back. 
This is why everyone hates you. Everyone hates me. I was just hungry. Better to be feared. Um, so, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly, that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. Okay, give him a but, drink. Uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. <laughs> I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Yeah. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Um, my job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. <laughs> Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. Someone might say cringe. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. No. Not everyone. Name one. Toad, beauty, uh, there was this girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? <laughs> well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. <laughs> well, I, I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give him the drink, man. Thanks, Big B. Oh, that's kind of depressing. I mean, it makes sense if he is the the sheriff, the only police force of the fables. Like everyone's gonna hate him no matter what he does. Hopefully, he got his two seconds of sleep. Colin disappeared. I don't know where Colin went. Jesus. Okay, we're coming. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Why? Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What happened? What Slow down. Where are we going? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Okay, orange guy. We got a little Ron Weasley type character walking around. Remember Those that? Walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. All right, well, we completed chapter two of episode one. I think we'll keep going. Is that Toad? No, what's that? Who's that? Security. Oh, no, someone killed Grimble. Took his head off? What happened? All right.
Grab jacket. Uh, this is going to be something creepy underneath here. It's going to be his head. It's going to be his head. Did he get shrunk? Nope, it's her head. Ah. Uh. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Pipe Town. Uh, just a girl. Familiar. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. She got a ribbon in her mouth. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Who found her? Did you see anyone? What happened? Uh, who found her? So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then I came to get you right away. No hmm. one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Hmm. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Yeah, we can't have Ron Weasley coming down and seeing this head. Oh. Okay, so we got the severed neck, got the ribbon in the mouth. The bruising looks like it was the same. It's been a minute since I played. Uh, let's start with the neck. Strange God. What did this to her? Esophagus, trachea. Do something like that. Spine. Either something very sharp. Okay, we'll get the ribbon. Maybe there's a note on the ribbon. What is? Yep, we're gonna reach in her mouth. It's a ribbon. With a ring tied it's to it. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Ring. Okay, and then I guess let's examine the rest She's of it. Here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Sorry, this is just so surreal. Hmm. Um, what, what do you want to do next? Investigate more, leave. We'll take a peek around. We'll have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. At least cover her head up with the jacket. Okay. Um. So we know. Well, Beauty was hiding back behind this tree. Can we go back behind the tree? Search the bushes. Nobody there. All right, it's not letting me go where I want to check. I guess I can only walk this line. Okay, that's fine. Can I look over here? Talk to snow, it looks like. Yeah, I can only walk certain areas. Let's go this way. Door, blood trail. Take a peek at that. Blood. Drops of blood. Of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour maybe. So we've been at least asleep for an hour or so. Trash can. All right, more drop. Oh, scrap of fabric. No signs that it's been here long. Let's take that. Any markings on it? Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. But we know it's uh, related. Ooh, someone tried to hop over. Some 
some Chinese food, some cigarette boxes, fence posts. Looks like there's quite a bit of blood on that. Blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Probably. All right. Let's touch it. Blood. Still wet. Blood. It's pretty fresh. Hasn't coagulated yet. Oh, did she cut her head on that? No. Sharp enough to cut it. That's what he's got to mean, right? All right, we got a scrap of fabric, the ring. Let's go back in here and talk to Snow. I guess we should check the other side if it'll let us check the other side. Yeah, we can't do anything over here. We need to check over on that far side. Let's go this way. Bum, bum, bum. The bench. Nothing on the bench. Anything down here? Not let me walk past this. Okay, so let's go back and talk to Snow and see what she has to say. We can show her the jean fabric. <laughs> what are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought it here. I don't want to say yet. Oh, it's a message. It's definitely a message. Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what Place about this? Placement of the head, woodsman threat, that? the victim herself. Uh, the woodsman threat. The woodsman threatened to kill her with me in the room. Maybe he wants me to know that he did it. I suppose it's possible. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. We're just going to leave the blood there. Not going to try and clean the blood up. Anything like that. Mo, Larry, and Curly waiting for something. What that something is, couldn't tell you. Well, I think this is a good place to go ahead and stop. Uh, that was a really interesting episode. We're kind of digging into the meat of the game, I think. You know, we are the detective, the sheriff, and we now have our crime to investigate. So let me, give me a comment on down below uh, what you think is going to happen. Did the woodsman do it? Did someone else do it? Are they, are they actually trying to send a message? Was this a random act of violence? Are they just trying to let the world burn? Who knows? Uh, go ahead and like the video if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe so we get to uh, explore the rest of this together with Big B and see what's what's happening out there uh if you don't want to subscribe that's okay and i'll see you in the next video